The hardest thing it seems to do in any walk of life is to live up to expectations, live up to the hype, and Dynamite One did in San Jose, Bellator MMA and Glory Kickboxing live on Spike from the sold out SAP Center. It began with the light heavyweight tournament. King Mo scored early. That's right, heavy hands, the right and the left, leading with power shot. Linton Vassell trying to keep him at a distance, could not do it. It was all about the short range power of King Mo. Got one takedown that could have injured the ribs. That would be a factor later on in the night. King Mo coming back with a takedown of his own, an easy decision victory. But not finishing Linton Vassell early might have been extremely costly. In the other half of the bracket, the long-awaited Bellator debut of Phil Davis, this was beyond impressive. That's right, he lived up to the hype against the former light heavyweight champion of Bellator. Phil Davis getting the takedown, top pressure Kimura, and here is the crank that ended the night for Emmanuel Newton, close to a break. Incredible pressure by Phil Davis. He gets a first round submission. Over the former light heavyweight world champion. Then it was on to the glory ring and history, the first ever women's fight between Kerry Melendez and Hadley Griffin. And it was all about Melendez. Great punches, combinations, changing it up, hand to foot, foot to hand. Hadley holding on, trying to stay in the fight, but it was a wipeout for Melendez from start to finish. And a unanimous decision, we may see her in the Bellator cage. You know who we'll definitely see back in the Bellator cage? Paul Semtex Daly, but he loves any kind of fight, and those big fists were on display. That's right. Fernando Gonzalez wading through a lot of kicks early on in the fight, eating punches coming in. Didn't find his rhythm until midway through the second round, started landing punches. It was too little, too late. Unanimous decision win for Paul Semtex Daly, who could be in line for a welterweight world title shot in the Bellator cage, where we return for the promotional debut of Josh Thompson, and what a spot to do it at home in San Jose. It's all about the takedown of Josh Thompson in this fight, getting it earlier every single round, giving him more time to work, transitioning to dominant positions. And in the third round, look at this takedown, straight to the arm triangle finish. The hit pressure is the beginning of the end. Bronzoulis holding out as long as he could, but nowhere to go. He submits in the third round. A feel-good return home for Josh Thompson and his Bellator debut. And then back to the glory ring, the vacant light heavyweight title on the line. Zach Mukasa and Solo Cavallari, two heavy hitters. That's right, Mukasa trying to move forward with heavy punches early in the fight. But Cavallari successful with the kicks, successful with the combinations, and finishing strong. That was key to the fight as Mukasa faded late in this five-round fight. That was the difference. Majority decision and the title to Cavallari. A real twist. First, the return of Fedor Emelianenko, followed by a bigger plot twist. King Mo and Linton Vassell both unable to compete, so Francis Carmont, the alternate, got the shot against Phil Davis. And then Phil the Davis got the shot on him. Exactly what I was going to say. Beautiful left hand. Look at the ground and pound. Bang! Right on the chin, Phil Davis, a submission in round number one and a TKO in round number two, complete dominance. Two for the price of one in his Bellator debut, and then the long-awaited light heavyweight world championship fight. 15 years since Tito Ortiz became champion the first time, and he looked good for four minutes. That's right, Tito Ortiz getting the takedown early, exactly what he wanted. Great positioning, securing the arm of Liam McGeary behind his back, but McGeary, though, going to his submission game, and look at this unorthodox reverse triangle. And look at the pressure too much for Tito Ortiz. A submission in the first round. So frustrated, he let it slip away. A renaissance for Tito Ortiz in the Bellator cage. But now the passing of the torch to the light heavyweight champion, Liam McGeary, with Phil Davis waiting for him. For the latest Bellator news and information, it's Bellator.com. Friday. Fight of the Year candidate Elsie Davis battles former two division champ Joe Warren. I can crush people with this hand right here. Oh my God, good right hand, my Warren! No one can stop me. He is the baddest man on the planet. Plus, Kendall Grove and Joey Beltran clash in a middleweight showdown. What a fight. Bellator MMA presented by Miller Lite. Live Friday at 9 on Spike.